Let's show you these pictures that we received from that live camera position outside the Belbek Air Force Base in Crimea about 20 minutes ago. You can see that Russian armored personnel character heading at the gate, reversing slightly as if to push down the gates, reversing again, and then we believe going into the base itself. We've got Stuart Ramsey to talk to right now. Stuart, your instincts were right. You felt the atmosphere had changed. You knew something was about to happen. The Russians have now gone into the Belbek Air Base. Yeah, they have indeed. They smashed through uh, two walls, uh, two APCs, uh, followed by uh, ground troops. We believe they're special forces. They're all about a car, but they've got slightly different uniforms to regular Russian soldiers. There was a lot of firing. Uh, probably into the air. Difficult to know, though. I've seen at least one injured soldier. We think there are more. Um, they then uh, ran across what is basically a playing field towards where the Ukrainian soldiers uh, had gathered. Uh, obviously, by this stage, they realized uh, that resistance was impossible. They'd be preparing for resistance against militia, not a full-on armed assault. Uh, there was some, some, as I say, gunfire, uh, some big explosions, I believe, from blast bombs, which are obviously just to uh, disorientate people. Now the Ukrainian soldiers have been lined up uh, in a, in, on a parade ground. All of them have now come into the central area uh, of the camp. They've been placed in different positions. There's the odd gunfire shot every now and again. We're not certain why, um, but the Russians are very much uh, in control.